In Acts chapter 17, Christianity had just begun to spread like wildfire across the Roman world. And when the followers of Jesus came to Thessalonica, they were described as the people who had turned the world upside down. Christianity wasn't meant to blend into the culture around it. We are called not to conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The Bible says, prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent, children of God above reproach in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you appear as lights in the world. Throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and the pride of possessions is not from the Father, but is from the world. For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for his treasured possession out of all the peoples who are on the face of the earth. God calls us to be countercultural in the way that we think, the way that we talk, the way that we act, and how we live our lives. As followers of Jesus, let us become and continue to be people who are turning the world upside down. <laughs>